Hi everyone, it's Lisa here from How to Zazzle. Today I'm just going to do a start to finish with how to make a product on Zazzle. Hope this will help out some of the newer Zazzle sellers. So in my last video I talked a little bit, bit about AI art and I know some artists don't like it and everything but um, I think it's a tool that's not going anywhere. And if you're not an artist and still need to make money it's good for you too. So I am an artist but I'm just trying to... Um, keep up to date with what's going on at 56 it's not always easy so anyway I'm going to a site called creative fabrica and um some people call it cf spark and I'm going to go down here to where it says create art click on that and then it's going to bring you to this page um right here it says what would you like to create with cf spark so here you have to put in prompts Prompts are words um, that are going to give it an idea of what image to make. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to try to make a cute like cartoon cat image. And I'm going to go down here and pick the size. I'm going to do 2 to 3 ratio. And then click on, oh, and I'm going to, yeah, then click on Ignite. And then down here it's going to come up with four images that you can use on social media. And sometimes AI art, AI art isn't, it's not perfected yet. It can be pretty weird sometimes. So you might have to do it a couple times. Okay, so I've done it a couple times, and so I'm just going to pick out one of these. I'm going to pick this one and click Publish. And once you hit Publish, it's going to go to the public, and anybody can really use this. If you're a member of CF Spark, I don't think too many people will use the same exact image because you don't want to compete with other people with the same image. Some, usually if somebody um, takes an image that they alter it or remix it, remix the image, which is another thing you can do here on AI and it will give you similar images but not the same exact one. But you can, you can use it so you can pay extra to not publish it to the public but I'm not too worried about it. What happens is sometimes these things can turn out so weird but if I like most of a picture I'll put it on my tablet and procreate and um, just fix it up ignore this thing that pops up it's just part of the screen testify thing I haven't figured out how to get rid of it when I'm doing these videos so anyway okay here's the image it gave me. So I'm going to download it to my computer. Then I'm going to go back over here to Zazzle. Okay, sign into your account. Sign into your account and then go down here to create. And I'm going to create a mug. Okay, I'm going to go to Customize Design. Then Upload Images. I'm going to rename this so I can find it later if I need to. Upload it to Zazzle. Okay, now see this green line right here? That that will center your image on that side of the mug. So I always line up this little square dot that's in the middle with the green line so that I can make sure it's in the middle. I'm going to copy this. Do the same thing on this side so that the image will be on both sides of the mug. And then I'm going to put a little quote right here in the middle.
over here you can make it the text smaller or bigger you can change the fonts right here once you get it how you like it you can look at the images over here see how it looks if everything's centered right and then click done once you like it and then again over here you can check out your views make sure everything looks good and centered and then click sell it So for your title, make sure you use keywords that people are going to use to search for your product. Click the department. And for your description, use three to five sentences. It's really hard to sometimes, but that's what they suggest you do on Zazzle. Use some of your keywords from up here. If you're using AI art, Zazzle wants you to put um, generative content on, on here, I guess, to help them organize which, which pieces are AI. So here's what your picture is going to look like. If somehow you got a view you don't like, you can click on change options and change the view of your product. I'm not going to put anything for events or recipients because it's just really for anybody. Right here, you can pick what store you want it to go into. This will be a list of all your stores. And then what category. That will be all the categories that you have made for your store. And then tags. So think of all the, the terms, the words and short phrases people will use to search for a product like yours. You can use up to 10 tags. It's rated G. Right here, you want to fill out um, what commission you want. I just have it 10% across the board to make it easy. And then right here, you click. You have the right to sell this without violating others' rights. And then post it. So right here is where it used to end. You, you could click on here and go to your product share it on social media and that's where it used to end but now Zazzle is asking us to make um, cover photos cover photos look more like this like it puts the product into a setting and it's supposed to be more attractive to viewers and help you sell things so um, Zazzle uses these any products with cover photos on their front pages so you want to take the time to do it so how you do that is I go to a place called place it but you can do canva and there's other um, cover photo sites you can use too. feel free to put them down below so other people know which ones to use and these make like mock-ups of your your product so we're going to make a cover photo of a mug. So we're going to go right here to print on demand, to coffee mugs. Then we're going to go back over here to Zazzle and see up here where it says downloads. We're going to click download and then download your artwork. And that's going to download your artwork to your computer. Go back over to here. and click on, um, you know, pick out whichever 
images you like. There's pages and pages of them. For time's sake, I'll keep it simple. Now, this uploaded a picture I was working on earlier today, so we're, I'm going to click on Replace. But for you, you'll just click on Upload a Picture. And we're going to upload what we just downloaded from Zazzle, that artwork. Now go back to Zazzle and see the what view you have, what side the handle's on, and what the artwork looks like on it, and then make it the same. And then hit crop. And up here in the corner you'll hit download. So we'll say processing for a second. Then click here to download. So it's going to download this to your computer now. So one thing I noticed is that these place it photos are always a little bit too small for what Zazzle wants you to upload. So the first thing I do is I go find the picture I just downloaded, upload it quickly to paint, and then I just resize it really quickly. I always make the smallest part 188, and that seems to satisfy Zazzle. Just a little side step here. Okay, so now that's size, you know, I resize that. I'm going to, oops. I'm going to upload that to the as a cover photo. So how you do that is you go over here to Media Manager, and you can add up to 10 images. So you can make, on place that you can make up to 10, 10 images, like with different views of your product or whatever. So I'm going to click on Add Images, Upload Images, and I'm going to upload that to Zazzle. If it's not the right size, it's going to be all blinked out like these are over here. But if it's the right size, you'll be able to click on it. And then see the square? You can, you know, do it however you want right here. Click OK and close. And that's going to automatically make that a cover photo. And that's it. Again, just make sure you share to social media and... Now you have a published Zazzle product that you can make money on. And remember, if you share it to social media and somebody buys it, you get an affiliate fee along with your commission. So you'll get extra money for doing that. So anyway, that's it. I hope you guys all have a great day and good luck with your Zazzle shops. If there's a video on, if you want me to make a specific video on something, write it down below in the comments. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.